school tuition that he'd been paying, and then Senator Ensign's wife fired Cindy herself. The rest of the report details the illegal lobbying job that Senator Ensign put Cindy Hampton's husband into after Ensign fired him from his own staff. How Senator Ensign retaliated against a constituent who would not hire Doug Hampton for that illegal lobbying job, telling his staff to, quote, jack him up to high heaven and tell him that he is cut off from the office and never to contact Senator Ensign again. How the senator's office facilitated that illegal lobbying by Doug Hampton and what Doug and did what Doug Hampton asked using the power of the office of a United States senator in order to make good on this payoff after the affair. The illegal $96,000 check to the Hampton family arranged by Senator Ensign. How Senator Ensign had his parents explain that payment in a way that his father totally disavowed and denied under questioning by the special counsel. In trying to cover up the whole sordid affair, the affair itself, the payout, the illegal lobbying, all of it, Senator Ensign started using Gmail instead of Senate email accounts. He started a new shredding policy in his office. He changed the responsibility of his Senate staffers. So the ones who realized that what was going on was probably illegal no longer got to see what was going on anymore. His chief of staff, John Lopez, did realize that what was happening was at least wrong and potentially illegal. So John Lopez got put in charge of handling the details of most of it in a way that would protect Senator Ensign. John Lopez is implicated as the Senator's chief of staff. Why is he not in trouble? Because he got immunity from prosecution. He got immunity from prosecution in exchange for spilling the beans on John Ensign. The special counsel also tried to get immunity for the husband, for Doug Hampton, get him immunity about the illegal lobbyist job and all the rest of it. But the Justice Department would not let that happen. They've got Doug Hampton under indictment which is where Senator John Ensign may ultimately end up as well. The special counsel noting that there is enough evidence here to likely have had John Ensign expelled from the Senate if he had not resigned and skedaddled last week about a half second ahead of the cavalry. But the referral of this evidence to the Election Commission and to the Justice Department for potential criminal prosecution probably means that this is really, really, really not over. Now former Senator Ensign may yet be indicted. Doug Hampton is indicted. John Ensign's chief of staff, who he dragged down with him, only escaped the same fate by being granted immunity in exchange for his testimony. Cindy Hampton and Doug Hampton are now divorced. The report says that Cindy Hampton is now filing for personal bankruptcy as well. She's trying to move to California to start her life over. She describes her life as ruined. Senator Ensign's parents are potentially in legal jeopardy as well for lying. Lying in statements they did not seem to understand that Senator Ensign had drawn up for them to sign and that they disavowed when they were asked about them by the special counsel. Who's the only one in all of this story who's doing fine? Senator Tom Coburn of Oklahoma. The man who knew about Senator Ensign's affair and kept it secret and tried to negotiate a nice settlement to end it, a financial settlement. Senator Coburn is trying to negotiate a good deal for Senator Ensign. Right? This, is, this is in the report. Tom Coburn trying to negotiate a, a good deal for Senator Ensign, page 37 of the report, trying to negotiate a payout to the family to make the scandal go away. Quote, Senator Coburn recalled that he was on his tractor at his home, mowing his lawn at the time, and was annoyed to receive the call in the middle of that task. But Senator Coburn did take the call on his lawnmower, and he played his role in the John Ensign scandal. Tom Coburn's role was to make a lower financial counteroffer when he heard how much money the Hamptons wanted from John Ensign. He was the one who negotiated a lower potential payout amount to John Ensign's mistress. He was out to save John Ensign some money in covering up this affair. Everyone else this touched had their life destroyed by this, but Tom Coburn, still in the Senate doing fine. His website bragging today about how he is a co-sponsor of the Defense of Marriage Act. Joining us now is John Ralston, columnist for the Las Vegas Sun, host of Face to Face with John Ralston, and a man who features prominently on page 42 of the special counsel report on the Senator Ensign scandal. Uh, John, I am not sure if congratulations is exactly the right thing to say in a case like this, but I do feel like all your reporting and your focus on this is, has, has been vindicated. Do, do you feel that way? 
Well, I don't know if my reporting has been vindicated, Rachel, but I'll tell you who has been vindicated here, Doug Hampton, uh, because everything he said uh, on, on page 42, it's a link to that program. We had him on face-to-face -face less than a month after John Anson's disclosure has been borne out to be true. The severance pay, the conspiracy to get him the lobbying jobs, the full knowledge that John Ensign had, and Tom Colburn's role, which he detailed, and it's even more detail, as you mentioned, in those granular details, as you described it, in that report, Rachel. He called Mike Ensign, John Ensign's father, which, according to the report, uh, resu resulted in a torrent of expletives uh, from the usually staid uh, Senator Ensign. So everything Doug Hampton has said about what happened here has been vindicated in that report. And Doug Hampton is the one who's under indictment, and John Ensign is a free man. It seems like there's something wrong there, Rachel. L let me ask you about the issue of the senator's father. Um, the Senator Ensign's father is uh, a wealthy man, a prominent man in, in Nevada. And this, this $96,000 payment from the senator's parents, they had said it wasn't severance. This was just a gift, a part of a pattern of generosity of lots of gifts that Senator Ensign's parents had given the Hamptons. They cited a, a big trip to Hawaii, for example, that Senator Ensign's parents had paid for for the Hamptons. Now, Ensign's parents say the statements they signed that attested to all that stuff were lies. Uh, did Senator Ensign get his parents in legal trouble here too, potentially? Uh, it sure seems it might be possible since they were his main witnesses before the Federal Election Commission. John Ensign would have had to disclose that $96,000, which again, Doug Hampton claimed from the word go was severance. Uh, John Ensign has claimed it was not. It was that gift. He got his parents to swear to that in front of the Federal Election Commission. Real quickly, Rachel, Mike Ensign is a very, very private person. Even when he was the head of a major gaming company, he did not like public attention. He wasn't thrilled that his son was in public office. He has to be mortified by all of this. But let's be clear what that report says. That report has multiple witnesses uh, in, uh, inside John Ensign's office saying John Ensign described it himself as, quote, severance. That is devastating to what Ensign has said previously, what his attorneys have said, and yes, what he had his parents swear to. The election commission, the federal election commission, had clear John Ensign before this. Now they're getting this referred back to them from the Ethics Committee with a lot of new evidence here. What do you make of, what, what do you make of that? I mean, part of the reason the assurance about severance is so important is because it violates election laws. Yes, exactly. And by getting the John Ensign and his parents to say what they said, they essentially took their word for it over what Doug Hampton had claimed that it was, that it was $96,000 in severance. The evidence amassed by this special counsel, and we really should say what an amazing job she did, but the FEC is the lesser part of this, Rachel. What is the Department of Justice doing? They, they, there was this mountain of evidence against John Ensign in that special counsel's report, a conspiracy clear uh, obstructing justice by shredding documents, going to Gmail, as you mentioned, instead of his Senate account, trying to uh, ward the DOJ off of the scent. And Doug Hampton, again, is the one who's indicted, and John Ensign uh, is informed by the Department of Justice at the end of last year that he can go have a nice life. Uh, there is something really dissonant there, Rachel. And that may not be the end of it. This, With this new evidence, uh, we're all sort of waiting to see if another shoe is going to drop from the Justice Department. John Ralston, columnist for the Las Vegas Sun, host of face-to-face -face, uh, with John Ralston and, as I say, the star of page 42 of this report. Uh, John, thanks so much. Look forward to your continued reporting.